What's up golfers at RX, Mr. Short Game here. Today we're gonna work on a cool shot. It's gonna help your game, it's gonna help your life. Check it out. Today we're gonna work on that low spinning check shot. Boom, right there, okay? Where that ball goes skip, and bites okay now it's not there's some things we gotta realize first before you uh do the shot one is it's not always gonna look like the people you see on tv okay they're spending a lot of time practicing but the fundamentals are gonna be the same as that what they're using you're gonna use the same thing also the grain of the grass uphill downhill the softness of the greens all this kind of stuff comes into play in terms of how much that ball bites and stops and checks but we are going to do it. It's a low spinning checker for like that. Oh, that 30, 40, 50. Yeah, I use this from a hundred yards sometimes. Use a little nine iron, eight iron, just doo -doo -doo, chip that in. It's great for a back pin where you want to come in low and stop. Sometimes you go high, it comes up short. No one likes that. Or you hit it high, you go over the back. Nobody likes that either. So, but we want it low so it lands on that green and then runs out a little bit or, or it stops. We get a lot more control with a low shot versus a high shot. So here are the fundamentals that we're going to use to pull this thing off and it's going to be a lot easier than you might think. Okay, so step one is don't grab your most lofted wedge. We're not using a 60 degree wedge here. This is a 50 degree wedge, like a gap wedge that I can hit it 120 yards but I use it for those uh, 30, 40, 50 yarders off the tight lies, especially tight lie, okay? So I like a gap wedge, many reasons why, we can go over that, okay? This has eight degrees of bounce on it, which is a, you know, middle of the road kind of bounce number. That's just the, the degree at which the uh, sole comes down below the leading edge of the club. So here's the sole, it's tilted this way, that's your bounce angle, okay? the degree of which it goes below the leading edge. Eight degrees below the leading edge. Now, here's what I like to do. Take that 50 degree and I'm gonna open it up. So that eight degrees is turning into like 10 to 12 degrees of bounce. I'm opening up the face, believe it or not, and hitting it low. That's the key. That's what the secret sauce is with a shot like this. You're gonna open that face. Okay, so that's key. And it's gonna go really low because the more bounce you use, the lower the ball will go. Just keep that in mind, okay? So, but I like to open it up. There's a reason why I like to open it up. When you open up that face, okay, you're opening that face up. When you do that, you're, uh, you're able to swing faster. You have to, because that face isn't flat, it's opened, so that ball's, it's gonna deflect a little more, so you're not gonna get the speed of which you would normally get off the face of the club if it were square. So you open it up, allows you to swing faster, thus giving you an opportunity to put more spin on the ball. I know what you're thinking. I know, but Mr. Short Game, Matt, when I do that, it's gonna go high. How do I keep it low? I'll show you. But the key is you have to understand is that is why you open the face because you want to swing faster, get more spin on the ball. Now, here's how we, we keep it low. Okay, here, here, here's now the low part. No, my hands aren't forward. I pretty much never do that. So you're, you're not gonna see this very often from me. Very rare occasion, okay? So weight is 50-50, ball's in the center of my stance. I've opened that face. I've got a 50 degree wedge, gap wedge, and I've opened the face, remember? Okay, now here's how you keep it low. Show you here. I don't want to swing up, okay? If I swing up, okay, if I swing up, that's a good shot, but it's gonna go high, okay? We don't want to swing up, okay? That's, that's not how we do it. You want to swing around, around your body here. Here, I'm not lifting my hands at all on this shot, okay? I'm just turning. We're just turning here. And then as I turn through, hands stay low. Hands stay low the entire time. Low and low. So open the, open the face. Don't forget that, okay? Open that face. Low hands. And that's gonna hit. Stop, stop and check. 
Now, the farther you are, the more check it's going to have. But it's a great way to control the flight and hit that low spinner in there. A lot of control with this type of shot. Love that. And the more you engage the bounce with the turf, the lower it will go. Just like that, I know, just like that. So don't be afraid to hit even behind the ball as long as, you're using, as long as the face is open, you can use this to hit behind the ball a little bit and it'll roll out. There you go. That's the low spinning check shot and just depend, we're, I'm hitting downhill so it's not gonna check very well going this direction, but you get the idea. That's how you do it. <sighs> open the face. Take extra club, open the face, whoosh, everything neutral, swing around your body. That's the magic sauce right there, swinging around your body. It's a great shot. It's a great shot to use. Your friends will be like, whoa, what happens to Johnny? How do you do that? Whoa. And, they'll, and, and you'll hit a shot, they'll be like, whoa, it'll be one of those. Ooh, oh, because they'll think you thinned it. They'll be like, oh, oh, that's what's going to happen. And uh, they're going to be like, how did how'd you do that? Did you do that on purpose? And you're like, yep, yep, I did. So be sure to check your inbox for more tips from me, Mr. Short Game. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.